Hello everyone and welcome back to the O218 functional tutorials by TechUltra Solutions. In today's session, we'll dive into two critical pillars of inventory management, which is replenishment and reordering tools. Now talking about what is replenishment in O218. So replenishment in O218 refers to the process of automatically or manually refilling the stocks when the quantity of a product falls below a certain level. It ensures that you always have enough inventory to meet the demand, whether through purchasing, manufacturing or internal transfers. Now, replenishment can be triggered by low stock levels, customer orders and production needs. On the other hand, let's talk about reordering rules. So what are reordering rules in Odoo 18? Reordering rules define when and how much of a product should be replenished. These rules helps Odoo decide whether to trigger an automatic replenishment based on your minimum and maximum stock settings. Now let's take a look at the comparison between replenishment and reordering rules in Odoo 18 highlighting their key features. So talking about the action feature, it is immediate which is manual or automatic in replenishment while it is scheduled and automatic in reordering rules. Next for the trigger feature, user decides when to replenish in replenishment and triggered when stock falls below minimum quantity in reordering rules. Talking about the flexibility, so it is one click ordered or automated in replenishment while it works silently in the background in the reordering rules. And in the last we have the use case feature. So in case of replenishment it is emergency or irregular stock filling while it is regular and planned inventory control in the reordering rules. Now let's take a look at a detailed step by step guide on how to configure and process replenishment and reordering rules in Odoo 18. See how to configure the reordering rules in part 1. So here in the Odoo database, we will just quickly navigate to our inventory module and here in the products, open the product. Now select the product you want to manage. So I'm just searching my wooden table here. Now here we have to set the routes which is buy or manufacture. So here in the product form, we need to go to the inventory tab here and here you can find the routes. So here the very first route is buy. So if the item needs to be purchased from the vendor, we need to select this buy. If the item needs to be produced in-house, we have to select this manufacturer's route. And uh, if the stock needs to be created only when needed, then we have to just click or enable this replenish on order MTO. Next up we need to take care is that if the route uh, buy is enabled here, we need to assign or set the vendor. So for that we need to just move to this purchase module here and uh, here in the vendor section, we just need to assign or add a vendor. So I am just adding my vendor deco edict here. Now here you can define the minimum quantity price and the delivery lead time for this vendor. So once everything is added, we'll just quickly save these changes or the additions here. Now comes the time to set the reordering rules. So for that uh, in this product, we just need to select this more option here and we have the option for reordering rules. So click on that. Here we need to click on this new to create a reordering rules for this particular product. Here you can add the location. Here you can already see the on hand quantity. So we need to select the route. So I'm just adding buy as a route here and uh, here the trigger is automatic as we are doing the reordering rules and uh, here you need to define the minimum and the maximum quantity for this particular product. So I'm adding 10 as a minimum quantity and 50 as the maximum quantity now adding this minimum and maximum quantity means that whenever the stock will fall below 10 Odoo will reorder enough to reach the quantity as 50 In this way we can add different reordering rules for the product now let's talk about the manual replenishment process in the part 2 so for replenishment, we just need to navigate to this operation section and here we have an option for replenishment. So click on that. Here you will see the products that needs replenishment. 
if the option is selected as manual in the trigger section here you can see for the custom wooden table we have added or we have created the reordering rule so here is our replenishment so here you can see when the quantity has been decreased from 10 to 8 we have the two options of order and automate now to turn on automated replenishment you need to select this automate in which the Odoo will use the reordering rules to automatically create the purchase or manufacturing orders. And by clicking on this order button, Odoo creates a purchase order or manufacturing order immediately for the selected product. So I am just clicking on this automate here for now. And here you can see the following replenishment order has been generated which is our purchase order number. 0028 as the routes for the replenishment was selected as buy so we'll just move to our purchase module and we'll just have a look that our purchase order is created so here you can see this is a purchase order and here we have our product with quantity as 42 8 quantity we are already having in our warehouse and uh, here we need uh, 42 more quantities to complete or to reach to our maximum quantity as 50. So from here you can just confirm this order and uh, follow the rest procedures of receiving the products and creating the bill for the vendor. Now moving back to our inventory module and uh, you're in the replenishment. So in this way, whenever we just select the order or automate, a uh, purchase order will be created if the routes is selected as buy. A manufacturing order will be created if the routes is selected as manufacture and a uh, transfer will be created if the routes are selected as internal transfer. Now let's take a look at the route as manufacturers for that we'll just move to our product now let's take the look at the another route which is manufacture for that we'll just move to our products and now this time i'm taking the example of wooden chair as my product and here in the inventory we need to make sure that manufacture as route is selected and buy is disabled and we'll just save it and again we'll just add the reordering rules for this product also and i am adding the similar quantities as uh, 10 and 50 here as the minimum and maximum and this time the routes would be manufacture and we'll just save it so once this route is selected as manufacture now we'll just move to the operations and here we have the replenishment so here you can see for the wooden chair we have our uh, replenishment so here also we have the option for order and automate so we'll just click on this order this time and uh, here you can see the following replenishment order has been generated and here is our manufacturing order number so we'll just move to our manufacturing module here and uh, here in the operations we have manufacturing orders here down we have our uh, manufacturing order created so click on that and here we have all the details complete the process we just need to click on this produce all by adding the quantities here and then we just have to click on this produce all so here you can see by confirming this uh, manufacturing order or marking it as done the production for this particular product wooden chair for the quantity as 50 has been done so in this way the purchase order and the manufacturing order and the whole process after these orders have been generated can be done by selecting the routes as buy or manufacture. So concluding our whole video for the replenishment and reordering rules. So replenishment is the actual process of restocking and reordering rules are the logic or rules that tell Odoo when and how much to replenish. So together they help automate inventory management and avoid stockouts or overstocking in Odoo 18. I hope this video was insightful to you. Stay tuned for our next videos. Thank you.